Our exclusive interview comes just one day after the release of a federal report showing the MedStar pilot made several critical errors. Tonight, the paramedic tells NBC2 Sarah Hollenbeck what he remembers about that crash and the frantic moments after the chopper slammed into the water. Sarah. Five seconds. That's the time it took for the chopper's cabin to fill with water. And in those critical moments after the crash, Dave Duncan tells us his training must have kicked in because he doesn't remember escaping from the submerged helicopter, but he does remember his first breath. Next thing I remember thinking I'm going to die here. Paramedic Dave Duncan was first to make it to the surface. But you quickly realize that you're there with two other people. You know, so I started yelling for Diana and Jason. And in complete darkness, Diana Tackett, Jason Osmond, and Duncan were able to unbuckle their seatbelts and feel their way out. They survived a violent impact. The chopper hit the ocean at a speed of 80 miles per hour. The impact dispensed gallons of jet fuel. You get a little teary-eyed because things could have been dramatically different. The National Transportation Safety Board just released the final incident report on the crash. It blames pilot Diana Tackett for ignoring warning light indications and failing to set the autopilot to the correct altitude. All things Duncan says are accurate, but not reasons to pass the blame. It's easy to judge from what you don't know or just from what you read in a snippet, but it doesn't give you a glimpse of who the person is or their character or their career. Tackett flew the MedStar chopper for a decade, but because of the accident, she'll never again be at the controls. I hope she's not being too hard on herself with the report. I, I just hope she's okay. Duncan still dealing with his own internal issues. I would love to, to get back to being the same exact person or better than I was before. Just not quite there yet. But he is back to work in the chopper because saving lives is the only life he knows. Since the crash, Lee County MedStar has made several safety improvements, such as night goggles and GPS tags in remote areas of the county. It's also set to take flight in its new replacement chopper within the next three weeks. Kelly?